we fry that bitch? <sighs> Looks that way. All right, everybody get inside. We've got unfinished business to... What the hell? Was it for you? Are we done here? Come on, Baird, we got a job to do. Oh, Marcus, how could you be so naive? Of course Epic was gonna make you fight the Lambent Berserker. It was there, and heavily detailed by the designers, so obviously the guy was gonna jump the fence and not even care that it was getting nuked from space just to fuck up the rest of the shit. The problem with this battle is that the creators mistook intensity for arbitrarily difficult, because the Lambent Berserker's only attack is to charge at you and get an instant kill, which would have been at the very least functional if its weak spot was bigger than a damn grapefruit and didn't just open up whenever the fuck it felt like it. 
The battle boils down to lobbying all of your bullets and hoping against hope that you can get some hits before it clotheslines your dopey ass. It's barely challenging because you have all three of your allies in the arena with a Borderlands revival mechanic, so anytime you get instant killed, someone can just walk alongside you and revive you because that's how things work. I suppose they thought it was the logical cap for this wave-based kill mission that it was involved in, but when you cap off boring with boring, you just made more boring. Seriously, to Epic and all other console first-person shooter developers, take a look at a Zelda boss like Stalord and figure out why it works, because I'm getting tired of these three-minute boss battles doing nothing but filling time. It's getting old and pathetic.